In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to connect my FS book to MetaTrader. This my FS book connection to MetaTrader is a full tutorial video guide. Therefore, ensure to watch the full video till the end. What is my FS book used for? My FS book is a free automated online trading tools that enables traders to evaluate, analyze, share, and compare their trading strategies and trading account performance. Wow, this is wonderful. My FS book tools links to your trading platform and automatically import all past and active transactions from your trading account, resulting in a track record of your trading activities. This is awesome. Your track record is your trading certificate as a trader. Yes, it is. As a serious trader, your trading platform should be connected to platforms like my FS book if you want to build a meaningful career in trading. Hmm, yes. Before we get started with how to connect my FS book to MetaTrader, you need to have a registered live or demo MetaTrading account with a brokerage firm. Are you in need of a reliable brokerage firm? Check the links in the description of this video for my recommendation. Plus, take advantage of the 100% welcoming bonus when you register through the recommendation link in the description of this video all right with that being said let's step into the tutorial to connect my metatrader to my fs this is what i need to do first thing i need to sign up on my fs book platform if you are yet to have an account just click on the orange tab right here to sign up for an account i already signed up for an account so what i'm going to do right here is just to sign in but if you want to sign up for account as a new uh trader on this platform all you need to do is just fill in your details your username email password and then retype your password and uh check the i'm not a robot box and then click to agree to the terms um terms of services and privacy policy on the my fs platform right so i already uh created my account so i don't need to go through this process so what i'm gonna do right here is just Login into my account, right? So I'm going to log into my account. So to log into my account, I'm going. To, I am going to move my cursor to select the sign in tab. Once I select the sign in tab, then I can log into my account. You can use your email, password. But I created my account through my Gmail account. So if your Gmail account is connected to your browser, you can automatically fill in your details with your Gmail account. So that is the fastest way to create an account and to log in on this platform. So Let's sign in with my Gmail account. A new pop-up window will show up on the screen. So select your Gmail that corresponds to your account. Once you select on it, automatically you will be logged in into the My FS Book platform. Now what you want to do is you move your cursor all the way to the portfolio tab at the upper section of the screen. So once you place your cursor right there, you can see already I have created an account on this platform. So the great thing about this platform is you can add as much as possible MetaTrader or different MetaTrader accounts. So you can add, add more MetaTrader accounts, either it be MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. You can as well add other platforms like CTrader, TradingStation, right? And even from uh, account from Ohanda, right? So, but in this tutorial, I'm going to make use of MetaTrader account. And the this first account right here is MetaTrader 5. So Right now, I'm going to add a MetaTrader 4 in this tutorial. So click on the Add Account. Once you click on the Add Account, on the newly open page, you'll be required to fill some uh, information right there. So this is these are the uh, information that corresponds to your MetaTrader account, right? So what I'm going to do right here is uh, I'm going to move my cursor to select, to select the tab right there, and I'm going to select the type of trading platform i am using so i am using the auto update so let's click on the metatrader for auto update so make sure you correct or uh, select the platform that corresponds to yours so i am using the metatrader for auto update once you click on it then the next thing right here is to click on the account name so this is the name you want to uh, tag your track record profile so i'm going to use this as charts charts empire for commodity so i want to create this account for me to track my commodity portfolio right so that is good and then i'll select my broker i am trading on hf 
HFM market. So HFM market is a reliable brokerage platform. And uh, if you use the link in the description of this video to create an account today, you're going to have the opportunity to benefit from the 100% deposit bonus, right? So on your first deposit, you're going to have opportunity of 100% bonus, which means if you deposit $1,000, it's going to be turned to $2,000. If you deposit one hundred dollars, it's gonna be uh, you're gonna be given a bonus of additional one hundred dollars, making it two hundred dollars. So take advantage of that to increase your uh, leverage and then position size, right? So uh, next, I'm gonna select my server. Before you can select your server, these details will be given to you during the process of your MetaTrader registration or trading account registration through your brokerage platform. So check your email or navigate back to your brokerage platform to select the details that correspond to your account. So your server ID is at the upper section at the left side of your MetaTrader account. You can see right here, this is HF Market XV Live Server 5 and they paste this server right here. Alternatively, I can just search it right there. This is this uh, HF Market XV XV Live Server 5. Okay, that is it. And then next, you want to input your account number. And then for our account number, we can see it at the upper left corner of our MetaTrader platform. And then get back to my FS book platform, paste it. And the final right here, you have to copy your investor password. Take note, your investor password is different from your master password, okay? These details are going to be sent to you during the press of the creation of your MetaTrader account. So check your MetaTrader or your broker platform to, for your investor password. So I'll just click on search mail on my MetaTrader account. I will go to my mailbox and under the registration right here, double click, you will see your investor and all your password right there consider so i'll just copy my investor password right there so for security reasons i have to protect the information right here okay once you copy it and the uh, next i'm gonna input it so since we can see crushing numbers right now our account has been connected since the crushing is yet to be completed let's wait but what I usually do is uh, I just try to refresh the page because sometimes it could take longer for the crunching numbers to be completed. So as you can see, this account has been corrected just like what I told you, okay? So now you have to click on the account so that you can set up the account, right? Now I click on Chart and Payer Community. As you can see right here, I haven't added any funds into this account, okay? So what I'm going to do right now, it's not necessary you have to add funds into it. So whenever you are ready to trade, you can add funds to your MetaTrader and uh, everything in your account will automatically reflect right there. But this is not all. You still need to give trading privilege to the my Facebook platform so that they can track each activity on your MetaTrader account. So whenever you execute a trade, they will be able to track, have a copy of the details on your my Facebook platform. This is what you actually want as a trader. You want them to track your losing and the winning trade so that you can see the metrics on my fs book right so what you're gonna do right now is uh, you're actually gonna go to settings before we click on the trading privilege we have to go to settings right here and uh, you can input the details about your system like uh, what you trade your trading strategy we trade raw price action so if you trade indicator if you trade no ict whatever you trade you trade demand supply just input your strategy right there anyways this section is not compulsory right but this will make your profile to stand out and to look professional right but once again it is not compulsory and then the system type what is the system type you use do you trade technical or you're a fundamental trader so input it i'm a technical trader and the trading type right here, you have to select do you trade manually or do you use automated system like EA robot or do you use both? So I trade manually. I have to select manual. And then you can see right here the account type is account type is real. You can't change this. The platform, my a Facebook platform, will automatically detect if you connected a real or a demo account. So you don't need to do anything right here. And the leverage right here as well, you don't need to do anything right here the platform will automatically detect the leverage on your account and your account type so once you are done just click on save right that is all now the final step now is we want to give my facebook the privilege 
to track our account so what you want to do right now is go move to settings again select on settings once you select on settings then you have to come to permissions you can see the permissions right here but you don't need to set this right now but under this section you can make your account to be private and you can make your account to be public right so if you want the public to see your profile your track record you can just click on public right here but before you can switch to public you are your account must be fully verified so to verify your account move your cursor back to the verification tab right here and select on verification you can see your candidates right here and right here it is very technical so you have to pay attention okay to what i'm gonna share with you on that is verification process because this is where most traders get it wrong and this is where most traders fail to be able to connect their account okay so what you're gonna do right now is uh, you can see your login right here your platform your broker your server you have to add back to your my to your meta trader account but before you do that you see this password right here you have to change your investor password to this password right there so you can see right there it says investor password you can see let's read it, it said the investor password is a read only access password to your account if you are not sure of your investor password you can reset it from your meta trader by going to tools options change server tab if an investor password isn't available for your account we will not be able to verify your track record nor trading privilege okay so what you need to do right now is uh, i have to click copy this password right here once i copy this password right here then i have to come to my meta trader platform so this is my meta trader right here okay so i have to go under the tools options and uh, under the options i have to go to my server and uh, from there you move your cursor to select on change right here if you're using the meta trader 4 if you're using the meta trader 5 it will slightly look a differ to this but it's almost the same thing just look out for the change tab once you click on the change tab right here then the next pop-up you're going to see on your screen is going to be the option for you to change master password we are not changing the master password we only want to change the investor password to the password created for us on my fs book so that our meta trader can be tracked so that our meta trader 4 or 5 or 6 trader or which of the platform you use can be no tracked right so you click on change investor password right there now you have to input the password you copied for my fs platform you can see right there once you copy it then you come back to your my meta trader and then input this new password right here and then confirm right there and then lastly you want to confirm the change of this password through your master password okay you need this master password to be able to change your investor password this is done for security reasons so to be able to do this you have to log in back to your uh email path platform or you can check your mailbox sent to you on the my metatrader account you can get it under the mailbox right there but if you can't get it right here check the email sent to you through your broker platform so once i paste the password then i can click on ok so let's click on ok to change the password you can see right now the password has been changed now you have to finally click on ok to activate the password on your metatrader okay now don't just cancel click on ok right to activate the password you have changed the password but you are yet to activate it so remember to activate it if you just click on cancel you haven't changed it yet right you haven't activated the password you changed now click on ok once you click on ok that is all now you have to head back to the my fs book platform now you have to click on update password right so you have to paste this password right here this password right here you have to click let's go back to the section of verification copy this password right here and then go to update password now click and paste this password and then click on update if you don't copy this uh, investor authorization password created on my fs book and then update it on my fs book you won't be able to connect your meta trader account and this is where most traders get it wrong you have to copy this password authorization password and click on the update password and then paste it right here so that you can notify my fs book that you have changed the investor password on your meta trader to the authorization password sent to you or created to you by my my fs book platform so now you click on okay once you click on okay you can see
password change successfully so now you have activated it now the final step is to click on close and then come back to the settings option navigate back to the verification tab and then now click on connect so if you follow the process you're going to see automatically your account privilege will be approved now let's wait to see the approval of this metatrader connection to my fs book you can see now account authorized successfully now this account has been connected as you can see we don't have any funds on my fs book account right here it's zero dollar so what i need to do is to deposit into my hf market account that is my metatrader account so once you have deposited into your metatrader account or any trading platform you use which has been connected to my fs book you will see all the trading activities on your trading platform replicated on my fs book so you have a copy of all activities right there as you can see we have the percent gain you can see the deposit the balance you can see the equity the is the profit we appear right here the interest the deposit on this uh account is one thousand three hundred dollars you can see the withdrawals you can see updated time you can see more uh, information you can see the period this week this month this year you can see the goals you can tag any goals you want to achieve on your uh trading account you can as well check chat on my fs book and then you can see this advanced statistics you can see the deposit the withdrawal more details you can see the trade you are currently or holding on to summary hourly daily risk of run duration no stuff like that you can see your open trade on this account we have a short position on gbp switch you can see that right here you can see the net profit the pips value the swap you can see the open orders history the deb everything you no know, there are a lot of things or uh, you can you know uh, you have access to when you use my fs book so you have a copy of your trading platform on my fs book right so that is everything you need to know on how to connect your trading platform your metatrader account to my fs book the process to connect the metatrader is applicable to other trading platform so if you are interested to register through my recommended brokerage firm today check the link in the description of this video use the registration link so that you can take advantage of the 100 percent welcoming bonus on your first deposits i hope this tutorial on how to connect the metatrader or your trading platform to my fs book was useful if it was please remember to check other trading educational videos on this channel the comment box is all yours feel free to ask me a question or suggest any topic you want us to treat in the next video for personal questions or support hit me up on my personal telegram account link down below